Indonesia as a country for many years has contained more actively erupting volcanoes than any other nation. As of June 11th of 2023, this number was seven volcanoes which include the following. Mount Merapi and Mount Semeru on the island of Java, the island volcano of Krakatoa, the Ibu and Dukonu volcanoes on Halmahera, Luotoluk on Lambada Island, and Karangatang on Sao Island. Then, on June 13th, an eighth volcano in the country began erupting, this time on the unusually shaped island of Sulawesi. The new eruption occurred at an interesting twin peak stratovolcano known as Lokon. I want to note that this name choice is somewhat unusual as Lokon has not produced an eruption in recorded history, while Mount Empun to the north produced its last eruption in the 18th century. Thus, all other recent eruptions of this volcano have instead occurred at a 650 meter or 2130 foot wide complex explosion crater partially carved into the edge of Mount Lokon's northern flank. Known as Tompaluan Crater, it, in the last 100 years, has consistently erupted an average of once every four years. This crater was also the site of the newest eruption, which began with a bang as an explosion of material originating on the crater floor occurred, causing a plume of ash to rise to a height of 470 meters or 1542 feet above the crater rim edge. More smaller explosions occurred thereafter, but something was seemingly missing. Lava as the latest eruption was not magmatic, but rather phreatic. It was triggered indirectly by magma or heated rock at depth, which caused intense heat to rise into a body of underlying groundwater. This groundwater eventually gained so much heat that it flashed to steam. Since the same mass of steam takes up far more volume than the water it once was, it causes an immense amount of pressure to build. This pressure eventually causes rock to crack via a path of least resistance, which is almost always upwards, causing ash and volcanic gases to be expelled in a phreatic eruption. Intermittent weaker phreatic explosions have been ongoing since the first one on June 13th, creating more several hundred meter high ash plumes. As a result of the hazards associated with this volcanic activity, as it could produce additional explosions with little or no warning, a 1500 meter exclusion zone was implemented around Tompaluan Crater in all directions. You might note that Tompaluan Crater is elongated to the north-northeast, seemingly aligning with two craters on Mount Lokon, a lava flow, and the summit of Mount Empung. I believe this to not be mere coincidence, but rather represents what once was or still is a dike body of magma which feeds the overall volcanic complex. This dike parallels a tectonic plate boundary to the east, which is why the Lokon volcano exists in the first place. This plate boundary is somewhat unusual as the tectonic plate is moving towards the east and the west at the same time at different sections of it, which in the case of the island of Sulawesi collided with the Sunda plate. As a tectonic plate was subducted underneath the Sunda plate, parts of it melted and rose into the crust as magma, eventually erupting onto the surface and forming a chain of volcanoes. We do not know exactly how long this double peak volcano has been erupting for, but I think it is safe to say that Mount Lokon is older than Mount Empung. The summit region of Lokon appears rather smoothed over, and with a lack of fresh looking ash or lava flow deposits, this peak has probably not erupted in my opinion for more than 5,000 years. On the other hand, Mount Empun has a considerable number of young looking albeit forested lava flows on its slopes of a likely andesite to dacite composition. These viscous lava flows have traveled up to a distance of 4.1 kilometers away. In the last century, the only active vent, aka Tompaluan Crater, has produced numerous small to moderately sized explosive eruptions, a select few of which required evacuations. However, these larger explosions were for the most part linked to lava dome growth related explosions and since no lava dome is actively growing, it appears unlikely for now that any very large explosions will occur, just smaller ones in my opinion. This eruption of Tompaluan Crater could eventually progress to a magmatic eruption, but clear cut warning signs of this are not yet present. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.